Hey a friend, Paranormal Puppet Paulie here. You're probably wondering why Rodrigo here and myself are all dolled up. Well, it's because it's Easter and we're headed to church. Hey, Paulie, why can't I go to church with you? Okay, I'm going to say one phrase and you're going to shut up and walk away. Macaroni incident. Hmm. That's what I thought. Now, I know we talk about a lot of cool, a lot of creepy stuff on this show, like vampires and werewolves, UFOs, etc., etc. But the thing is, I don't know if any of those things are real. One thing I do know is real is evil. Evil spirits, demons, that kind of stuff. Them things is real, and them things is dangerous. You stop messing around with those kind of beings, they're going to turn you inside out and use you for a friggin' sock puppet. That's why on my show, you'll never ever see me messing with Ouija boards. You start opening doors with them things, baby, you ain't got no idea what's going to come through them doors. But, 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 Paulie, you mess with Ouija boards all the time. But no, never once. Yeah, you're always out there Ouija'ing all over your truck. The squeegee, Linda. Squeegee. Mmm. Uh, anyway, you think you're having some harmless sleepover fun. The next thing you know it, you're a friggin' lampstand to friggin' Vormagoth the Unchained. <sighs> Sorry, I get all worked up. I know what you're thinking. Oh, Polly, we're scared. What do we do? I got good news for you. There is a defense against that kind of stuff. Turn humans and evil spirits. Ain't got nothing on Jesus Christ. And that's why we're headed to church. You really, really want to follow this guy. But don't go throwing that name around if you don't got the belief to back it up. That's how my cousin Anthony got killed by cornflakes when he tried to summon that poltergeist at a quinceanera one time. Now, talk to your local pastor or priest for the specifics, but I'll give you the basics. So you gotta confess and apologize for all the bad crap you ever done. Then you gotta invite them in. Just like the bad guys, you gotta invite the good guys inside too. Now, not only do you got a ticket into heaven, but the next time your ma starts floating six feet off her bed because of all those haunted lunchboxes she bought off of eBay, you know exactly what to do. Well, we better get to church. I ain't getting there late. Last time I had to sit behind Ethel Murgatroyd. You know, she fought it so hard last Sunday, I thought she was going to crap her pants. You ready, Rodrigo? All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.